Hey, this is Eat Lead, played for us by Real Soviet Bear. Thanks, Bear. Eat Lead, the dark souls of good writing. <laughs> oh, I guess it's Eat Angus. I'm ha okay, I was expecting the G to like blink out and go dark. Thanks, babe. I owe you one. <laughs> Great. You can start by not calling me babe. Now, move your ass. The level's starting. Okay, wait, but where are we now? Why are we in a casino? Uh, right. That's not a casino. Okay, I, honestly, if we could just, like, summarize it. Sorry. Here, try this. Yeah, that's more like it. <sighs> that text is hard to read. It is. So thanks. Okay, but they put a drop shadow on this, but they didn't on the other text. Okay, so are we a, are we a cop? Are we still a cop? Uh, well, we were, we were a detective. Now we're... Like, now we're, um, we're wearing some Gears of War nonsense. Like, dollar store Gears of War. He looks like Alfred from... Not Alfred. He looks like Albert from that one Retsu Prey. Uh, I got nothing, man. Oh, I'm <laughs> trying to remember. It's the one with the where you play as a psychiatrist. Oh, damn. I don't know. You know what? It sounds way better than gonna... this, but... Oh, no, it's not. It's just as bad as this. Nice. I... You know what? Nice. <laughs> Even Bear's PS3 didn't want him playing this damn thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm the man. What was that? That was a code pack. I set it up so that when you kill an enemy, you absorb it. He looks like Albert from After Fall Insanity when he gets to all the cannibals. Oh, that game! Okay. That game, that's what he looks like. Yeah. Also, I'm really jealous that, you know, you got to go look up something else instead of watch this video for any amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you take cover behind beef? Well, I guess we're hiding behind what? Cardboard? Nothing now. Yeah, so... Yeah, we're hiding behind cardboard. Okay, cool. And you know, depending on the cut, the cut of the beef, not even um, cold steel swords can get through that. <laughs> Only the most powerful uncles can get through that kind of cover. <laughs> I would rather be watching the cold steel video, because that's actually hilarious. God, could we do that, though? No, no. Just we <laughs> we made a promise. I'll just insert it into the bottom corner <laughs> of the video. Yeah. Like a play-by-play, -play, so that way everyone can just look down there for a yeah, little bit. Yeah, if all of this gets to be too much, you can just watch some dads <laughs> with big <laughs> knives. I'll, I'll start it in the bottom left-hand corner, and as the video goes on, it, that video will slowly get bigger <laughs> and t until it takes up the whole screen. Cold steel consumes all. <laughs> Why did they put meat in the boot and then cut the toes off of the boot? <laughs> Why did they have meat shoes? <sighs> They're not even the good kind of meat shoes. I saw it before, number one. <laughs> that was a code glitch. Somebody is hacking the game code. Changing what? The level. Yeah, that's how that's how hacking works. I know what is going on here. Son of a... If I didn't know any better, I'd say that was Jebediah Bedlam. He's the leader of that gang of bandits I fought in a fistful of hazard. <laughs> <sighs> it was trying to save you. It was trying to save all of us. Somebody is hacking the game code. That was the game asking you to stop. What the hell? You don't have to do this. Mm hmm Son of a Okay, I will say I do like it when they spawn, they walk through the little the little double doors. That's kind of cute. And I can't believe they actually have two different models. I would have thought they would have just had the same one show up. Yeah. I'll take cover up there directly! Take cover behind the poop house. Mm-hmm. Get in the poop house and then stay there, Matt Hazard. Yeah. It's 
It's your new home. <laughs> also, folks, I know we're talking over some of the uh, jokes with the biggest air quotes I've ever made there. Um, <laughs> you were trust me. You're not missing anything. There, no, there's, there's literally nothing here. Actually, so I'm, I'm curious. What score did this game get on Metacritic? Oh my god. Now I gotta think of things to look up so that I don't have to watch this video. Metacritic gives it a 51%. Hmm. The user score is 6.1, but only 27 people gave a rating. Okay. <laughs> well... I can't imagine more, you know, many more than that actually played this, so... Now, in comparison... Okay, I do like the, ah, oh, you got me! I, I like that. <laughs> like, ah, just on its own. I'm not sure. So, in comparison, mm -hmm. Vampire Rain... Or, come on, you fucking stupid website. Thanks for loading an ad. <laughs> so, Vampire Rain, on the other hand, got a Metascore rating of 38 and a user score of 3. But 42 people Jeez, voted for that. It's better than that. What's up so, more people played Vampire Rain and rated it on this website than people who played this game. I. Mm. Okay. I mean, in the last video, I did say, wow, I miss Vampire Rain. That doesn't mean I think it's good. <laughs> it's just not this. Oh, I mean, I wasn't I wasn't saying that I thought Vampire Rain was yeah. good. Is he collecting no. souls? I miss that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, and then that's... Yeah, it, it's our souls. That's why there were two of yeah. them. Yeah. I'm... Hmm. Now I have a thing to look up. <laughs> Suck it! I don't have to watch this for a second. <laughs> you just okay, but what is? No, it no, no! I'm, you out? just you just do your thing and do a commentary, okay, okay. and I'm gonna. But you know I'm not funny. Uh, well, do your best. <laughs> I'm the Travis McElroy of the group. I only make wow. friends, I'm sorry. Wow! Wow, big slam on Travis. Oh, I love Travis. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Travis. Okay. I know you're not going to watch this, but I love you and all the McElroys. All right, okay, I'm back. So this game came out two years before Dark Souls. So if those had been switched around, <laughs> there is no possible way that this game would not have a Dark Souls segment. <laughs> uh, I hate that you're right. I hate that that's definitely correct. So, just based on the fact that, okay, this game came out in 2009, and it was a PS3 and 360 game, let's just kind of think about what things it might try to parody. Like, we're already going with, you know, we, we got a Gears of War situation going on with the armor and all that. We've already done Duke Nukem. Yeah, they made a joke about that in the the intro cutscene. Yeah. Um, um, you so could the souls flying to you. That makes me think of Cabela's Dangerous Hunts when you're collecting <laughs> skulls. Okay. So there's that game. That's fair. Yeah. Um, you could argue that the first stage, the the first whatever was going on in the first video, you could make an argument for Max Payne. I guess. You could make an argument for Max Payne. I mentioned Red Steel because yeah. they do have a level in Red Steel where you just go through a giant sushi restaurant. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's true. I think it's the first level too, actually. If I remember right, I think the first level is a giant sushi restaurant owned by a mafia boss. Oh. Or, I'm sorry, Yakuza boss. Well, there you go. Also, we're doing a Cowboys thing, um, so that's something. Oh god, I just had a terrible thought. What if this game has vehicle sections? 
I don't want that. Mm. I don't want that at all. I see I'm waiting for the mandatory stealth section. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, there's no way this game doesn't try to pull a Metal Gear, right? <laughs> I was thinking more of a... Or like um, a Splinter Cell? Sam Fisher. Yeah. Yeah, Sam Fisher situation. Yep. I'm surprised this game even included grenades. <laughs> I'm surprised they were able to program a grenade. I... I don't want to say that this seems like... You know, to, to say that, like, this is the 2009 version of Unity Asset Flipping is <laughs> maybe a bit disingenuous. This does look like actual effort went into it. Um, well, they did... When you when you boot up the game, it does say they have their own engine based, named after the company that made the game, so... Okay. I mean, I already forgot the company that made this game and what they called their engine, because who cares? Yeah, <laughs> uh, Vicious Cycle. Right, and it was called the Vicious Engine. Mm -hmm. Which, yeah, I'm definitely getting that Vicious vibe, because it hurts my eyes. Yeah. I, oh my god, there was a sequel to this. Excuse me? Okay, it was an Xbox Live Arcade and PSN game. <laughs> And it was a 2D <laughs> side scroller. Ugh. So that's the direct to DVD sequel yeah. for yeah. Matt has. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> the game features three difficulty modes Wussy, Damn This Is Hard, and Fuck This Shit. Okay, so you think um, that's where. Uh, <laughs> fucking Rogue I'm Soldier or whatever? Ro yeah, Rogue Warrior. That one thing. Rogue Warrior. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Dick Marcinko's so big damn adventure. <laughs> Good old Ricky Dick Marcinko. Yep. So you think you're sp something special, huh? No, so you think you're fucking special, huh? Yeah. The manager's office. Noted. I wonder how how many Xbox Live points that costs to buy. What the? <laughs> Holy the shit! They program chair physics. Wow. Nah, that's just... That is some straight-up, like, textbook havoc. That's the power of the vicious engine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now I'm curious how much money the direct-to-DVD sequel costs. Uh, it was probably a $10 game. I would never spend $10 on that game. I... I'm not saying you should. I'm not going to. <gasps> oh no. I would rather play Blade Kitten. Uh, ooh. Okay, no, ooh, I wouldn't. Ooh, no, let's not. not. Mm. <laughs> what now? Kitty. Kitty Abundanza. What? Azard. What the hell are you doing shooting up my casino? Your casino no sucks. How did they manage to make someone getting hit in the balls not funny? <laughs> what kind of monster would do that? No physical hits in this game have had any weight to them at all. True, but... because something crazy It's hard to explain, but... Also, I swear, that lady has to be a dead to rights character. <laughs> Do, do you think there'll be a dead to right section where he gets a pet dog? Oh, please don't put a dog in this. <laughs> please don't. I'm just curious how they would animate a dog, since they've barely been able to animate yeah, anything else. I was going to say poorly, but, you know. <laughs> you stay here, kitty. The hell I will. Is... What? Yeah, no, this is the- here's the dead to right section. This is where you're in the, uh, the sushi place, and you have to fight with that Eve character. <sighs> I watched the dead to rights LP that Slow Beef and Beatus did again, mm. like, recently. <laughs> That's a game. How bad is it that most of this video has been us finding any excuse to talk about, like, other people's let's plays or 
other games that have come out and <laughs> just trying as little as possible to engage with the actual content in front of us. Well, I mean, look at it this way. We watched the first video and this is just more of that, but the setting has changed. Like, there's Russian soldiers now instead of cowboys. Yeah. And suits with guns. Y yeah. Like, this was a casino, but then the glitch thing happened, and now it's whatever this is. The hazard pistol. Oh my god. Good lord. Okay, so wait, maybe this is the Call of Duty section. Maybe. I hope this game never goes into first person because I don't want to be inside Matt Hazard. No. I the phrase I don't want to have to pretend it <laughs> hearing the phrase inside Matt Hazard like made me wish I existed a little bit less. <laughs> So this is a shooting gallery. I mean, that's all this whole game has been. Yeah. yeah. Duck behind a thing. Here's a bunch of non-moving targets. What? Matt, I'm opening an okay. Now. About time. Go on, Kitty. I'm right behind you. Oh, so this game predicted Bioshock Wait, Infinite. You can't leave. You have to finish the level. Okay, fine. But I guess we all know what that means. It's hazard time. Stop. No, it's already getting kind of old. What are you talking about? <sighs> Never mind. Just go. Okay, I think I like the digital lady because she's tired of his shit too. Yeah. But she talked to him for five minutes and was already like, uh, No, okay. because it's, it's, they're lampshading their own joke. Like, just because you make a bad joke and then immediately say, haha, isn't this a bad joke? You still made the bad joke. You chose to, writers of Matt Hazard, the lead eating man. There's something <laughs> different about this area. It's not on the map. Somebody must have hacked it in to give the Russians access to the nightclub. What? Of course. It's the only thing that <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> I want to die. <laughs> I'm moving to right. Oh, come on. What was this that? This video is causing my computer to chug. It's trying to save you. My computer actually tried to uh, <laughs> tried to launch a Windows update in the middle of this video. So like everything <laughs> is trying to stop us from completing this. And Bear's PS3 kept crashing. Uh huh. Mm -mm. Uh huh. Like I'm. Okay, so now I'm pretty he... sure. I'm pretty sure that this whole situation is just a sin. <laughs> and, and just oh, everything man. is. None of us are getting into heaven now. Right. Everything is trying to stop <laughs> us from, from putting this out. Trying to stop it from being made in the first place. <laughs> All right, so now he's got like ice powers, so uh -huh. he can freeze people. So they must have gotten the, that's from the ice beam in Metroid Prime, right? Yeah. This is getting ridiculous. You said that already. Or uh, yeah, Matt I Hazard. can't imagine this game has more than like four, you know, witty quips. Well, they've only got one model for all the dancers. <laughs> all right. All right. Each time we see him do the action roll, it just gets more pathetic. <laughs> I do appreciate that the game shows that all these white people can't dance. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's the same person. It, it's the same person. Copy and paste it about... 20 times. Yeah. Great. See, I'm just like trying to look at these posters right now. Like, what's a dit stick? I don't know. That was the first one I looked at, too. It's the only one that I can really read. Yeah. I'd love to learn more about the dit stick, though. <laughs> no, it's Diddy Dit Stick. Oh! 
So that that must be a DJ. Okay. Okay, that guy is just working behind the bar, Matt Hazard. He, yeah, it's. He just the really shitty bar with nothing in it. <laughs> I bet that bottle of beer costs at least ten dollars. Mm -hmm. It's a bunch of overpriced bullshit. Well, you know, maybe we'll leave soon. Oh, let's see this. That's not a real ladder, is it? Damn it. I really wanted to see how they animated Matt Hazard climbing a ladder. Oh my god. They Did they do this just to trick the player into thinking that's where progress can be made? What was the point of that? I I think you had to go around and this is a different dance floor. I guess. I'm surprised they had the restraint to not let Matt Hazard try to hand money to one of the dancers. <sighs> I'm waiting for it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just waiting for more misogyny, honestly. I was going to say the misogyny, but we already got that at the end of the last episode. Mm hmm. And the start of this episode, yep. where he kept calling her babe. Yep, pretty much any time uh, anytime our handler he opens his fucking mouth. says <laughs> anything, yeah. Okay, are we at the start of the level again? I can't tell. General Neutronov. Yes, Matt Hazard, it is I. Your pathetic attempts to stop my plans for Soviet domination of the world will come to nothing. <laughs> oh, they got rid of his teeth last. Oh, this is nuts. Did you hear that? That's your joke? That's your one-liner? <laughs> Nothing like Dosvidanya, comrade? Nothing? That was terrible, but it was, you know, just as bad as... <sighs> I shouldn't have done that. Anyway. <laughs> <sighs> like, I... For a game that's trying to ape, like, action movies and, you know... Every trope imaginable. Yeah. There's a there's a very clear lack of one-liners or even attempts at them. Yeah, he's had the one where he's just like, "This is getting old." I think. No, this is ridiculous. That's what he's. Yeah. Like. This is new. Is it new, Matt Hazard, or is it from another game? Proving Soviet superiority by managing to smuggle nuclear device into country right under your hoses. Noses. General, this isn't what it seems. You're making Didn't mistake. Rogue Warrior come out in 2009? I'm gonna find out. I'm pretty sure it did. It did, but it came. It still came out after this game. Okay, so Rogue Warrior, Ricky Dick Marcinko watched or played this game. <laughs> and he said, "Hell yes!" He said, "I could do this, this better." Is what I want my video game. Yeah, based on what I claim to be my autobiography. <laughs> <laughs> that's your, that's your melee. That's what grenades sound like. I really like his sprinting animation because he looks like he's out of breath immediately. Yeah. Like, please sprint again. What's... What's the meter that's ticking down up at the top? Well, it's gone now. Oh well. I was gonna say, I don't see a meter. But, yeah. So that's the boss fight. You just kind of shuffle around every now and then. And the boss never moves. No, no. It's not over yet. Oh, okay. Oh, how nice of them to spawn cover for you. Yeah. Okay, the hit detection in this game looks like... <laughs> wow. 
He shot that dude in the head like four times or before anything connected. Either that or his ski mask is made of just <laughs> solid steel. <laughs> oh, okay. So that meter up in the top left goes horizontally across. Yeah. That fills up a little bit whenever um, Fat Hazard or whatever his name is steals men's souls. Oh, it's his soul meter. Okay. Yeah. Now, how he spends those, I'm not sure. That might be how you get the ice power. Oh, maybe. Like you, you may have to fill that up all the way so you can activate your little power-up thing. Oh, okay. And so occasionally they just bring in extra dudes for you to shoot in order to refill okay, wow, that, your, your that sorcerer's powers. That fills up really powers. fast. <laughs> So this seems like a pretty sweet boss design. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Bears. Thank you so much. <laughs> yep. It's uh yeah, it's a good good boss fight. Nice uh What you understand the gimmick very quickly? You know how to go about <laughs> doing it? I'm going to pretend that Bears had to cut out about 30 minutes of this. So that I can kill you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's... Yeah, I'll go with that. What is that? Was there just a big... Oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Fuck this. What is this? So do we shoot the big red thing? Of because that's what I'm assuming. Of course you shoot the big red thing. It's a video game. <laughs> that's... Okay. I would like to clarify. That's not me, like, being snarky about this game and tropes in video games. I think it's perfectly fine that there is, like, an accepted shorthand for red barrel means shoot this. That is that is one thing that I think this game is actually doing right. <laughs> It hasn't made a shitty joke about, huh, never seen a red barrel in a video game before. It hasn't done that, and that, that makes I'm this... I'm surprised it didn't. Yeah, that makes this the single best part of uh, both videos that we've watched so far. <laughs> okay, so what did that accomplish? Matt, it lo Matt, what did that accomplish? It lowered a ramp that we could have climbed up anyway. Because it wasn't even at head height. <laughs> sure would be nice if I could jump. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I love a lot when you try to peek out over cover to shoot people. Occasionally your cover is just in your way, yeah. but then the bullets go through it anyway. Yeah, you just like jam your gun halfway into a crate or whatever. Okay, yeah, so that is how you get the ice power. And it's ticking down, and then when that's gone, you're... The fun thing is gone as well. Did he say insert coin to continue? I was not listening. <laughs> I... Oh god, there's a time limit now. Oh shit. Could we just... Yeah, I could barely read it because there's no drop shadow on it. Could we just, like, not actually hurt him before and that's why that's why there had to be a a, a cut <laughs> maybe only bears knows for sure yeah i'd ask but i don't want to make him relive this any more than he has to <laughs> Alright, so we got this thing. And we did it! Did we win? Hooray! That was close. Matt, the Russians weren't after you. They were gunning for Kitty. And she's not the only marathon hero that's in trouble. The next level is loading now. And it looks like they're about to ambush Bill Schindler. Bill the Wizard? From Overlords of Wizard World? Nah, he'll be fine. He's what, level 75 by now? He can kick anybody's butt. No, 
He can only access a few spells outside of his game. He won't survive long without help. Then you have to get me in there, fast. Are we really about to get a fantasy level? Of course we are. Are we really? Of oh my god. Of course we are. <laughs> <laughs> Rush into the finish. <laughs>